Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am doing a video for, I'm um, sorry, I'm doing a video for Gemini using the Power Deck and the Divine Feminine. Um, I use these two cards and not tarot because I want to receive a full-blown message. Um, something that can help us to realize certain things or help us to work on certain things. The, the, the power deck just gives us an amazing message, something so motivational. It helps us to, um, to really think and to really, it helps us to think about things that we've never thought about and work on things that we probably never thought about working on. Divine Feminine is, these are different women through time who have stand, stood in their power, who have exhibited traits of women who will, who are resilient, women who are just timeless and will never uh, let anyone take away their faith. The women that stood in their faith, who knew who high, their higher power was, who allowed themselves to follow the intuition and be in tune. So I'm gonna start with the power tech and then go get a message from the Divine Feminine. Message. Message for anyway. When I, um, when I shuffle the cards, I like for them to jump out. I don't like to take from the top because they be have pictures and I can see it. I feel that it's more, it would be more of a message from divine God, our ancestors, our spirit guides, if I just allow the message just to come through. Um, I don't know if anyone watching now has watched any of my other videos, but I kind of just go with the flow. Um, I just allow my intuition just to come through. I follow it. It's not easy because sometimes you're like, oh, you know, I don't know. But the best thing to do is follow your intuition. And if I do things differently, then in this video than I do in the next video or the video previous to this. It's just because I'm just following my intuition. Skill. <laughs> I love this. This is the card that popped out. It's called Skill. I'm gonna get one more.
coming for on time. Oh, wow. Sneaky. <laughs> Force and courage. Okay. So. So this card is called Scale, right? We see in the picture this person right here. Sorry, the glare. Okay. See in the picture, this person right here is this is this kind of to me, this kind of looks like um a giant like I don't wanna say uh chessboard because it looks nothing like a giant chessboard but um you know how in like the um chinese well asian movies where they would have like karate and stuff like that and then there, there would be like this big um open area where people would train and fight and stuff like that but instead of that being oh wow sorry instead of that being that this is the galaxy this is the universe and this man right here is just sitting there so either he's met quote his eyes are closed or he's looking into it and he, it's just like it's just so peaceful everything is where they should be Everything is is correlating. He's using his intuition to put things in the places that they need to be put. In the spaces that they need to be put as well. So the card, the card says. The card says 10 skill. Expressing your highest nature through your work is sometimes easiest when work is not exactly as you wish it to be. There is a hidden there are hidden gifts within friction. Therein lies the secret way to a grateful life. To a grateful life. You are not what you do. Your work is a higher mirror providing a reflection from which it to learn in your involuntary process. Then work becomes a higher skill. And you begin to find fine tune not only your physical self but your spirit. A Zen garden expresses the essence of life and highly preferred skill to come to the inner truth that pro produces true skill. A Zen garden expresses the essence of life and a highly perfected skill. Come to the inner truth that produces true skills. So like I said, this is within this person right here. That's what that light is. He has control over it. It's it, it wasn't easy. Everything is where they should be because he perfected it. It, it was a skill. It, was, it took practice. It took time. The next card is called Force. And we have horses running. It almost looks like they're running through the ocean. Yeah. Running through the ocean. And we have all these little, you see that dot, that one there, this one here, out there. I'm not too sure if these are planets or just the moon. And they just have it in different places. But with force, you see how they're pushing through. They're running, 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 running. And we all know when a horse is running, it's just like whoosh, 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 whoosh. Like they're going. They're pushing through full force. Nothing can stop them. So let's see what the card says. Force lives in your will and comes from your intent. 
Life is a process of pulling back your bow, aiming your arrow, choosing a target, and shooting. The degree and quality of the force with which you choose are target your target and shoot determine your power and your success. Force is built through your integrity, a purpose, your physical tuning, and your balance of spirit and mind. By naming your act of power, oh, sorry. By naming your act of power, you create force. Follow your innermost passions, passions in life. Empower your will and give your strength a force by manifesting your secret dreams. <laughs> See that? They're pushing through. They're getting, they're, nothing is standing in their way. Nothing can stand in their way. They're running on the ocean. <laughs> like these horses are impeccable. Okay? They're unstoppable. God has gave them the tool to be able to run through this. Gave them the strength, the body that they need in order to get through the horseshoes. And that's the same thing he's done for you and doing. So the next card is courage. And when I was looking at this card, the reason I chuckled was because they have fish, right? But the fish look like tigers. And I love this picture because of the simple fact that with, with courage, sorry, it takes courage for a fish to live outside of the water, okay? We do have tiger fish. I believe we do. And they're literally surviving outside of water. It's two of them. There's a partnership. It took courage. It took strength. It took force. It took skill. It took per perseverance in order for them to come out of that water and survive in the forest, okay? And it's just, it's amazing how we have all this greenery. I'm so sorry, Gymnast. Um, oh, yes. It is amazing how we have this forest, all this greenery. And then if you look over all the way in the back, we have all of this snow, all these mountains, cold air. But they're living. They're courageous. They're living right next to freezing cold temperatures. <laughs> in beautiful greenery, okay? So the, the, the message on the card, it says, action takes courage. We often feel like fish out of water, separate and different from the world around us. But fish out of water can learn to swim in a new air of consciousness and with a new purpose in life. Perhaps it's identification with objects and clinging to addictions that keep you feeling separate from the source of your power. Perhaps it is not only a dependence on drugs, sex, or alcohol, but also addictions like the fear of failure, to not, to, um, the need for approval, or the fear of desertion. Discover your own power and meaning by having the courage to give up your addictions. Then live your, po your power with courage. So, even if you're not struggling with any type of drug addiction, alcohol addiction, or like sex, there we do all have some type of addiction to something, whether we recognize it or not. Some of us wanna be successful so, so bad that we will do any and everything just to get there, okay? Just to get there. That's an addiction. So I'm going to pull a message. I mean, I'm pull a Divine Feminine to go with the message for um, Gemini. Okay.
these words are so like I don't know they just like pop out so strong skill it takes skill in order to perfect your trade it takes force in order for you to continue to keep going and it takes courage in order for you to allow yourself to perfect your skill allow yourself to have courage and continuing to try and perfect it okay Divine feminine that you guys have to go with skill, force, and courage is Zong Squanjing. Squanjing. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, the mystic of peace. I am peace when my mind is clear. The way I, the way is clear. So this is what she looks like. This is what the card looks like. Zhuangjing. Zhou, no, Zhou Zhuangjing. Uh, maybe I'm spelling it, saying it wrong. But let's see. What she represents. Okay. Um, Zhuangjing embodies the un unwa the unwavering tranquility that exists deep beneath the turbulence of our daily thoughts. She was a 12th century Taoist mystic and poet. The night before her son's birth, she had a dream that she was immersed in the red mist. This is a very, excuse me, a special auspicious sign in Chinese culture. The title given to her as a master was free human of mystic peace. The emphasis in her poetry was the power in her in stillness, the secret of receptive of the receptive. She writes the most she sought in stillness, the way of Taoism is a spiritual practice of clearing the mind so that when we take action it isn't from the ego it's from the source of source of life itself the pedestal of awareness is steady as a boulder zo taught that meditation allows us to descend descend disengage from the surface drama the ego can invite us into she often refers to the moon in her poetry because this was the symbol of eternal sky or the freedom we can reach if we stop looking at the light and shadows the moon casts and see the moon itself. Albert Einstein reportedly said that we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we use when we create created them. Clarity only comes from clarity. There is a peace and calm existence fair beneath the far beneath the constant banter most of us listen to all day within our minds. Zhang Jian, author Clarissa Pincola, SD calls it the river beneath the river. It's the steady flow of the universal life force that wants us to reach our goal. If we can only get still enough, still enough to merge with it. Wu Wei in Taoism translates as doing nothing. It's sacred feminine art of trusting the force of life that exists within us. Zhao mastered this spiritual practice by calming her mind and experience. The still center that, excuse me, um, the still center that's at the eye of every storm. Zoe is called for us to be still, do nothing, or other than shift our awareness, come out of the current state of mind where we're in before making any moves or decision. She reminds us that we only want to take action when it 
when what is moving us is the force of love at the heart of everything. The soul voice meditation. So enter the heart and ask to experience Ask, experience stillness, repeat the mantra, I am peace. So I know you may be saying like skill, force, and courage. The way I explained it is like you have to go out, you have to be doing so much. You have to you have to be working, 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 working. And no, that is not the case. It takes courage to let go of addiction. It takes courage and skill and force to have faith within God. That may sound wrong, but because us as human beings, we have to, we have this addiction to control. We want to know what's going to happen. We want to know when it's going to happen. We want to know how it's going to happen. We want to know who's going to do it. Like we, we just have to know so that way we don't feel feel like we don't have control over ourselves um she represents being at peace the only way you can have peace is if you allow yourself to have peace okay it's it is not something that is easy to get to to be in a center where you are relaxed and filled with peace and joy love happiness okay it's not easy it will take skill. It will take perseverance. It will take force and drive and courage in order for us to sit within ourselves and meditate, relax, just allow God to work, allow ancestors to work, allow our spirit guides to work. We were all brought here onto this earth with an army around us, whether you want to believe it or not. We were. Okay, we have spirit guides. We have ancestors. We have angels who watch over us, who guide us, who protect us. The moment we allow ourselves to let our guards down and to sit in the center and have peace, we become skillful. We become courageous. We become filled with peace, happiness, and love. But if we just continue to go about our lives, our everyday lives, pushing through, forcing ourselves to work and having to live the life that we think we should be living, you know? Sometimes things happen and we end up on a completely different path. So I hope that resonated. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and have a wonderful day.